Mother Mary to me, she is just like my own mother. When I face any difficulties that I don't feel really comfortable sharing with my own mom or my parents, she's the next parent that I run to. So I see her as a, a mother of a friend who tells me about more about his life that I will never have known if I've just gone to Jesus alone. Mother Mary is a very, very important part of my life. As a teenager, I would go to Novena on my own before I was baptised. If you ask me why I would go, I tell you I don't know, I just go. Whenever there is a destruction at home, I say the rosary. When we say Hail Mary, Mother will come to us and with her, angels and saints will come through together with her. So whole battalion is with us to pray. People from church, you know, and even my neighbour downstairs turns up and says, you know, we have the neighbourhood rosary. <laughs> and every month they invite us to come and my children love it. They love to come and Kiara's picked it up and they, all the children know how to follow the beats. And I feel like that's a more meaningful way of spending my 30 minutes instead of using my phone and being on social media. I carry the rosary and it is taped to me. In my lowest moments, Mother Mary listens every single time. So life is very beautiful after I know God. And also, I think it's a treasure to have Jesus in my heart with Mother Mary's intercession. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we welcome you all to this new series on getting to know Mary, the star of the new evangelization as our mother in faith. I do hope you and your family will be able to renew your love for Mary, our mother, within your homes. Thank you and God bless you.